Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a wee bit of an unhaul. Um, I recently looked at the books that I am hauling this month and I recognized that I needed to make room on my shelves. And then I got this adorable bag from Book of the Month with this little book pocket right here. And it says book pocket. And then on the back it says book of the month. So I figured I could unhaul the books put them in this bag and then my local Starbucks actually has a shelf inside now like take a book leave a book type thing so these are books that I can like keep in my car and like take a book leave a book situation or I could just put them all on the shelves and like totally unhaul them or I could take them to the book exchange but my first stop will be my local Starbucks now that they started doing that and I just thought I would share the books with you and let you know why I'm getting rid of them. The first book that I'm unhauling is Memoirs of the Teenage Amnesiac by Gabriella Zevin. Um, I recently heard someone talk about this and everything that they were saying I was like yeah I don't feel like wasting my time on this book. Um, this is about our main character Naomi and between heads and tails she ends up waking up in an ambulance with amnesia and then when she wakes up of course she doesn't know her boyfriend she doesn't understand her best friend will and their inside jokes um she'd know about her mom's new family she'd know about her dad's fiance she wouldn't have to spend her junior year relearning all the french she supposedly already know knew <laughs> so she kind of is going through relearning her life it just sounded from that review i think it was on jacqueline's channel i'm not entirely sure but someone recently reviewed it and i was just just like nah man I'm not into that okay the second book is basically the same thing except for instead of one review it was all of the reviews that I have heard about this book so my last uppercase book was The Gilded Wolves by um, Ronnie Chotsky um, Roshni Chotsky and yeah I was looking forward to it when I read it because I don't read a lot of fantasy but this one has mystery and decadence and dangerous desires and it's 1889 and it's set in Paris and it just sounds like it should have been really good but I have heard that it is horrible so um I love the gorgeous cover I think everybody can appreciate the gorgeous cover but every single review that I have read is just not here for it. So if people that love the genre have read it and hated it, and I don't really read the genre a lot, I'm sure that I wouldn't like it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. So I'm basically trusting other reviewers here on BookTube to sway my decision and get rid of these. The next book on this list is The Astonishing Color of Factor by Emily XR Pan. I have read this one. I have reviewed it in one of my wrap ups. It just wasn't my favorite. It didn't pull me in. I was getting sick of the whole everything having to relate to color thing um for the story that it was it didn't it didn't pull me in like it did other readers um it's a kind of magical realism book about a girl whose mother dies so she goes um she travels to Taiwan to meet her maternal grandparents and this kind of bird follows her and stuff like that so um, it was okay. I just, it wasn't a favorite, so I really don't want to keep it on my shelf. Next up was a more recent read, and that is this witchy price guide book. Um, I love the design of it, but I read it and it made absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, it had some beautiful writing, but there were too many characters that you were trying to keep straight. And um, the names were kind of like these unisex names that I would even forget if we were talking about a boy or a girl or a male or a female. You know what I'm saying? So it was just so hard to keep all the characters straight. And for such a short book, it had way too much packed into it. Okay, the next two books I'm actually on the fence about. They're both middle grade. The first one is Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. I did read this. I did enjoy it. I thought it was great, but I just don't know if I love it enough to continue on and purchase the other books in the series. Um, if I'm interested in it, I can always get them from the library and just read them and return them. I don't think I need to like own these copies for my shelves. Um, and I'm not really into middle grade that much. Every once in a while I'll find a gem like this one. Um, but it's just not something I reach for very often. Um, and having the space on my shelf is better than holding this on my shelf. The next one is Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. This is another one I also enjoyed, um, but I just don't think that I need to waste the space on my shelf to keep it. Um, 
and if I want to continue in the series, it's another series that I can borrow, easily borrow from the library or, um, you know, get it on, on my OverDrive app or something like that and read it rather than taking up space on my shelf with series that I don't absolutely love and I don't reach for often. So I am on the fence about these because I would hate to like fall in love with the series and then like really want it for my shelves. But right now as it sits, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these because by the time I read the others in the series, like it's going to be down the line. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of these. And plus by getting rid of these, I probably won't even pick up the other books um, because I have so many other books on my shelf to read. And I do have another middle grade Wildwood up there to read if I am in the middle grade mood. So getting rid of these. And the last book that I'm getting rid of is Restore Me by Tahara Mafi. Don't fret. I have my copy right down here that I read and loved. Um, the only reason I'm getting rid of this is because I basically purchased this copy because I'm really invested in the series. And then my friend Penelope here on booktube sent me her entire set of Shatter Me in hardcover, including the original cover of Shatter Me, um, and then Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, and Restore Me. And the copy that she sent me of Restore Me is signed, so I wanted to keep that copy rather than just this regular old copy from Barnes & Noble. So I'm going to get rid of this because I want someone else to enjoy it. And um, I think other than two other books, this was the only like double copy of a book that I had. Um, and that's something that so the only other books that I have uh, multiple copies of, obviously I have multiple copies of The Giver because it's my favorite book of all time. I have two copies of Gathering Blue and the only, and then I have the original cover of Shatter Me and the Eye um, illustrated cover of Shatter Me. So the only other book I have multiple copies of is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. And the reason why is because I love this floppy paperback. This is the copy that I actually read when I read the story. But then I saw a hardcover in a thrift store and I picked that up as well. Um, so I absolutely love this book so much and I just couldn't decide whether I wanted to keep the hardcover copy, which is in great condition by the way, or the paperback, which is already like tearing a little bit right here because I'm really drawn to this floppy paperback. But I think that the hardcover will stand the test of time better. So I definitely have to keep both. Anyway, that is all the books that I am unhauling today. Like I said, I may take them to my local Starbucks and drop them off for the leave a book, take a book thing. But let me know what you think about this unhaul. Let me know if you're unhauling books. But I hope you're all having a great day or night. And I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye. Bye.